I came in here right at six months after my husband died. I came from Connecticut to Georgia in 1946. 1982 is when I started wood carving. As I was taking a class at Life Enrichment Services in DeKalb County, in watercolor painting. And the girl that was sitting next to me said that the next quarter she was going to start teaching a beginner's wood carving class. And I said, oh, that's something that I haven't ever tried to do. I've done all the rest of the stuff. I've painted china pieces. John Burke was the one that started me on these big, on these big ones. And that's standing up with the chisel and the hammer. They say, well, what do you do? What do you use? I said, well, you use carbon knives. And I say that people that use electric are cheating. <laughs> like the Dremel and all that stuff. And uh, the, all birds are done with an electric tool, most all. Well, the, the big ones, you have to use a you stand up and it's hooked on a big old screw so it doesn't move. And it's a chisel and a hammer. It took me three months to do. And not eight hours every day. I did have a sick husband inside the house. I had a mirror. And I said, I gotta make her hands. And so I would put my hands and to get the idea of what they looked like in the mirror. And then I would take it and put it on a piece of paper. And so this is what came out of the piece of wood that I had. I had a nice little shop in, in my backyard, and I could just put stuff there and leave it. Um, most of the time, we'd, I would just start them off to see whether they even liked it or not. I've had you know quite a few of them that have did things, and uh, Carol and Carol did uh, was with me for a couple of years, and uh, she uh, she did a lot of small, small pieces. Most of them do the small pieces. They don't, they, they didn't get into the big pieces. Friday and Saturday, and half a day on Sunday. Okay, so that's 20 hours. And usually what we came out with was a face.